all right is gdpr on your mind if yes then well today i'm here to help you my name is sudil jeet and i'm from technic force and today i want to show you wp gdr fix the magical plugin that is going to make you 100 percent gdpr compliant and is going to make sure that your business is protected so i've got the plugin set up on my computer and when i go to wp gdpr fix in the index screen i can see exactly how compliant i am so when you actually install the plugin for the first time all of this will be non-compliant so you have to set up each section one at a time it's not really uh, very crazy difficult i'm going to show you exactly how but i have gone ahead and set up most of them only two of the requirements i haven't set up the terms and conditions and the privacy policy and once i set them up two they will be green too and once all of the bars are green you know that you are 100% GDPR compliant. So let's go and take a look at each of the sections. The first is the cookie consent requirement, which means you need to show your visitors a little notification telling them that you are tracking cookies and it's just a notification. You don't need to get their agreement to it. You need to notify them that your website is tracking cookies. So let's go ahead and set it up. So over on the top of the plugin, you will see all of these tabs we've got seven tabs we are covering seven key requirements to gdpr cookie consent terms and conditions policy privacy policy right to be forgotten requirement data access requirement data breach notifications and data rectification requests we actually handle all of them so let's get started with cookie consent let's go to cookie consent and set it up click on cookie consent and here you can see your little cookie consent message box you can actually write what message you want to give what message you want to send your visitors now we have a default message here if you don't want to change anything you can just leave it there then we also have a way to display and change the setup of your cookie so if you want to change the text color you want to make it something that is suitable to your site you can do it you can change the background color you can actually decide where you want the box the cookie consent box to appear you can just you can decide how much distance you want from the border of the website border of the web browser and you can also decide what you want to display on the button so it can be okay it can be thanks i understand whatever you want and if you want any custom CSS, if you are a programmer who wants to implement custom CSS on the buttons or anywhere else, you can put it here and that's going to work too, but that's not really required. I'm going to go ahead now and show the, show the cookie box on all of the pages. Of course, I can decide what pages I want to show them on. And typically you would want to show it on all pages. If you know what you're, if you don't know what you're doing, if you can decide, put it on all pages because you want to be 100% compliant with GDPR every time click on save settings and here's the test website when i refresh it now i will see the cookie consent box so here's my cookie consent box set up with white background black text and the little ok button so all your visitors will see this when they browse your website once they click ok it won't be shown to them again using cookies of course so this is the cookie consent requirement met on wp gdr gdpr fix now let's go to terms and conditions so here we are on the terms and conditions page and GDPR actually asks you to make sure that your users accept the terms and conditions. It cannot be just a page where they can read it. They have to expressly expressly accept and show their consent to the terms and conditions. And with WP GDPR PR fix, you can do that. You've got some options to direct signed in users to terms page. So when people sign in, they're shown the terms page. If you say yes, they will be shown the terms page until they say yes, they cannot Move, they cannot move on to the rest of your content and if you show the terms page to the people who are not signed in if you can if you click yes they will be taken to the page till they actually consent and you have to have the version policy of the terms and conditions every time the version changes every time you make a modification to the terms and conditions just come here and change the version in some way and they will be asked to consent again then you can change you can select the terms and conditions page so if it's this one for example i've got a couple of pages set up if it's this one just select it and and the plugin will redirect the people who are visiting your site to this page and after they accept the terms and conditions you can choose to redirect them to any of your pages that you have on your website the home page of the website the last page they were on or if you don't want to redirect them at all you can do that and when all of that is done click save settings and when you go to the index again you will find that the tnc requirement is also met 
and the privacy policy it works just the same as the terms and conditions you can redirect your signed in users or the users who haven't signed in in your WordPress account you can have a policy version which will which will force your users to accept the policy every time you upgrade you will be able to select which is the privacy policy page and where to redirect the users and once you set up the privacy policy page you click on save settings and on the index you are compliant so that way you have to gain once you see all the green bars you are 100% compliant let's look at the other screens too let's look at the other sections too then we've got the right to be forgotten this is the page where you can set up your right to be forgotten settings you will need to set up an email subject that you will send people when their data is forgotten or when you've deleted them this is your admin email from where the mail will go and you have the option to reassign the user's post if the user is a contributing member of your platform who's made any posts you can either reassign them to any specific user you want or if you want to delete them you can delete them too and click on save settings this will save the settings and all the requests that you get will be shown over here you can see the you can see action points so you've got the options you can either for guest requested data with just a click you can see the requested data or you can remove the request if you want if you think this is not a legitimate case you can remove it and this is where people can actually file the request so you've got this request form and this is the test blog where that we have but this is going to match your theme when you implement it on the final website and you have data access request you can make three kinds of requests you can make data access request which means you can ask for a copy of data that the website has about you the, your user that is and they can also file a request to forget data about them they can ask to forget their wordpress comments their posts or any other data that you might they might have you might have on them and just put in their email id so if they have you know register on your website with some email id they'll put it in and tell you what kind of data they want you to forget click on submit and you will get this request inside of your own wordpress admin so you can see that my request is filed right over here i can delete the data that they have asked for just by clicking the checkbox i can view the data they've asked for by clicking the view requested data or i can delete the request themselves and once the data is deleted i can decide what message i want to send them you can type out the message right over here and once you click save settings the settings will be changed if you delete the data a confirmation mail will be sent to them informing them that the data is deleted and of course the data will be deleted from your wordpress completely and this is where you actually honor data access requests so you've got your admin email here and you can type in a mail subject when a notification is sent to your users with the data that they've requested you can select what subject you want to send them you can also select a little message you can type in a little message that you want to send them along with the data and you can again send the data with just one click send requested data they will get it or if you want to view the requested data yourself you can click on the view requested data button over here so this is all the data that we have on the said user it's all there in the tabular format we've got some json too and it'll be show it will be sent to the users in a format that they can read just like the one we have here and when you click on send requested data the data will be sent to them along with the message and the mail subject that you selected finally we have the data breach notification system so whenever there is a breach in your data base or if there is a breach in your website and you want to inform your users about it you can use this form you can put in a mail subject that you want you can put in a notice that you want maybe a letter telling them how the breach occurred and whatever and then save settings so that so the mail and everything will be sent and anytime you want to send a data breach notification click here it'll show you all the users on your website who are registered all the webs all the people who will be sent out the notification and then you can simply send click on the button send data breach notification to send the notification to them it's pretty easy and the mail will be sent and finally you have data rectification this is where people will actually you will, will ask to rectify the data if there is any data on them that you have that that is incorrect they can ask you to rectify it and again it's the same system you will have an admin email a mail subject and you can put in a little message from your side which will tell them how your data is rectified and finally the the little uh, grid where you can see the data rectification request that they've made click on view request data and they will it will show you what data they want corrected so you know if uh, if it's an email id what is the new email id that they have or whatever and when you click on the checkbox over here the data will be automatically fixed and 
the person who's requested the data rectification, they'll be notified. This is the most comprehensive system to get GDPR compliance. It gives you compliance on all seven key points. And there's nothing similar in the market that's as comprehensive as this or as easy to use. The pro version will also have ready-made privacy policy pages and terms and conditions policy laid out for you that you can just plug in and save your time and effort. So this is something that your business really needs right now. Get WP GDPR fixed, confirm to the GDPR requirements and protect your business.